Hello everyone and welcome back to our universe. Today we'll be answering the question, why do stars shine? We can look out to the night sky and see billions of stars shining brightly. The number of stars and the brightness of stars will all depend on where you live on planet Earth. For people that live in cities, there are a lot of bright lights, and this stops you from seeing many of the stars. But those who live in the countryside can see a lot more stars, because of the reduced light pollution. Stars are actually suns, in the same way that our sun is actually a star. If you went to the far reaches of the galaxy and looked back at our sun, it would look just like a normal star. To figure out why the stars actually shine, you have to know essentially what a star is made of. Stars are massive spheres of glowing plasma, so hot that we get nowhere near the temperatures back here on Earth. The surface of a star, like our sun, is cooler at the surface, about 5,800 Kelvin. But its core is the hottest place, which is about 15 million Kelvin. Stars are basically held together by their own gravity, and from their nuclear fusion process, they actually give off some of the heat that they produce. Stars come in all sizes. Some can be incredibly large and massive, but the larger ones seem to have a shorter lifespan. Other stars are very small, because they take up a long time to burn their fuel. Our Sun is a medium-sized star. Approximations tell that our Sun is only halfway through its life cycle, but it still has billions of years to exist. The process of producing this vast amount of heat involves the process of nuclear fusion. The energy that it produces is trapped inside the star for millions of years, and it is consistently trying to get out. Finally, it rises to the outer layers of the Sun. The energy escapes and is carried off as the solar wind. The next thing that you need to think about is the speed of light. Light travels at a constant speed, and will continue to travel until it hits something. When we look into the night sky, we are seeing light from billions of stars, and these stars are all different in their distances from Earth. Depending upon their distance, some of the light that is actually shining towards us could have came off a star millions of years ago but it has simply taken millions of years for the light to travel from the star back to the Earth. Each time we see the light of a star, we are actually seeing the star's past. If we actually had the chance to travel to these stars, the star's appearance would actually change until the moment that we had actually reached the star. In some cases, astronomers can actually view certain stars from birth to death and even becoming a white dwarf or even exploding into a supernova. If we were able to travel to a star that was millions of light years away, and looked back to see our very own sun, we would actually see our sun as it was millions of years ago. So basically, the answer to the question, why stars actually shine, is basically because stars are a powerhouse of energy, radiating off into the cosmos with a massive core of fusion reaction that causes energy to be released and sent out into the universe as light. And we see this all around the universe. So, I hope that's given you a good insight into why stars shine, and also how hot these stars can be, and also how light actually works on large distances within our universe. And as always, if you've enjoyed the video, click the like button, and if you want to support the channel, click subscribe. Thank you for watching.